and explains the rules of Rugby League. The object of the game is for your team to score more points than the opposing team. The game is played with two teams of 13, playing on a field that's 100 metres long. In rugby, you may run forwards with the ball, and you may kick the ball forwards. But what's interesting about rugby is that you can only pass the ball backwards or sideways. You cannot pass the ball forwards, and doing so will result in your opponent being awarded possession. The idea is to score points, and there are several ways to do this. Number one, a try. You can run the ball into your opponent's in-goal area and place the ball down onto the ground. This is a try and is worth four points. Unlike in American football, the player must press the ball down onto the ground with downward pressure. No downward pressure equals no try. Number two, a conversion. After scoring a try, you are awarded a conversion kick to add more points. The kick is made from a spot 20 meters from the goal line and perpendicular to the spot where the try was scored. Kicking the ball between the posts and over the crossbar scores two points. Number three, a penalty. If your opponent commits a foul, you may choose to kick the ball from the ground between the goalposts. This also scores two points. Number four, a drop goal. You can also kick the ball between the posts at any time during open play. To do this, you must drop the ball onto the ground first before kicking it. This is known as drop goal and is rarely seen because it's only worth one point. It doesn't seem like much, but in close games, this might make the difference between winning and losing. To stop you from scoring, your opponents will try and stop you by tackling. Your opponent can grab you below the shoulders and pull you to the floor or stop you moving forwards. In rugby league, once a player is tackled, the opponent must let go of the ball carrier and his team must retreat 10 meters. The ball carrier is allowed to stand up and kick the ball back to a teammate to start the process all over again. You are allowed up to six tackles to score. That's right, six. Six is the magic number and the number of the tackles allowed is six. If your team is tackled a sixth time, your opponents gain possession of the ball from the spot of the tackle. Just like in American football, a team will usually kick the ball away after the fifth tackle to make it more difficult for the other team to score. The game is played in two 40 minute halves for a combined playing time of 80 minutes. The team with a high score after 80 minutes wins. In summary, a team will run with the ball, get tackled, kick it back, run forwards, get tackled again, kick it back, run forwards, get tackled again, kick it back, run forwards, etc. Six times over and the other team gets to have a go. That's it, right? Well, that's basically the gist of it. But there's a few other rules you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, knock on. Any player deflecting the ball forwards with their arms or body is committing a knock on. Remember, you're not allowed to pass the ball forwards, so you're not allowed to deflect it forwards either, unless it's a kick. Committing a knock on will result in the other team being awarded a scrum. Scrum. This is a method of restarting play, usually after a knock on or forward pass. The forwards of both teams line up and push against one another while the ball is rolled between them. Possession of the ball is usually won by the team that's awarded the scrum. In touch. This is rugby terminology for out of the playing area. The outer lines of the fields are touch lines and any ball leaving the field of play is said to be in touch. 40-20 kick. If you think you can kick the ball from behind your own 40 meter line, bounce it on the floor and into touch within your opposition's 20 meter line, your team is awarded possession. The referee will award you an extra six tackles and possession of a scrum where the ball has left the field. This can be a tremendous advantage if kicked correctly as you gain big field position with a single kick of the ball. However, it's easier said than done and should you fail to execute this, your opponents are given the ball where the kick was made. This is potentially disastrous and can potentially cost you the match if you get it wrong. There are many other rules not discussed here, but as you watch or play these games, they will become very clear indeed. Remember, if you can count to six, yes six, then you understand Rugby League.